What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about every single crash in this game. There's a lot of crashes that's happening in Call of Duty Warzone and every single Call of Duty that you are busy playing right now. Yes, this implies and works for every single Call of Duty. So all you need to do is just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. Now a lot of people are running into the problems like Direct's X errors, game crashing randomly without giving you a notification what the problem is. It just goes to doom and then your screen goes black and then you don't know what's happening. Then sometimes you can't even force quit your game by pressing control to delete and ending the task. It gets to the point where you have to restart your computer. Now there is a lot of fixes for this and I'm going to go over every single one of them and this is the latest update video that I'm making today. I'm going to show you and go in depth with how to fix this game and every other Call of Duty. All right, let's jump straight into this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Call of Duty right now, so it doesn't matter what Call of Duty you are in, it doesn't matter if you're in Warzone, Modern Warfare, Vanguard, fucking any Call of Duty that you're playing right now. If you're having any issues, Number one, let me get this out there, and I just want people to know this. Okay, it has nothing to do with your game's settings. You have to jump through certain hoops. You have to enable this and enable that and jump through this and jump through that to be able to have your game smoothly running without it crashing, dev errors, black screens, crashing randomly to the desktop, all those things. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump through the methods of fixing your Call of Duties. All right, let's jump straight into that. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the methods of fixing Call of Duty. There is a couple of them and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If one of these methods work for you, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new year. Please go ahead and leave a comment on which method worked for you. And if these methods work, please consider of supporting my YouTube channel by clicking that thanks button, not just the like and a comment. Go ahead and click on that thanks button. It would really much be appreciated. Alright, so the first thing you go ahead and do is open up your battle net like this and then go to the gear icon over here where it says options. And click on options and go to scan and repair. Now for a lot of people this actually does work by scanning and repairing the game files because your files do get corrupt eventually with all the small little retarded updates that Call of Duty does in general it does these small little updates every time you open up your battle net there's something over here that happens like 200 megs 100 megs 65 megs I don't know like 600 megs whatever the case might be there's always small little updates because they're trying to fix the game but they never fucking fix the game so that's just a thing so I highly recommend go ahead and do that just click on here and go to scan and repair now like I said before it works for some people and for some people it doesn't work at all all right another method is go to show an explorer like this and then it's going to show you where your call of duty is installed you're going to go over here scroll all the way down and go to modern warfare over here the exe right click on it and go to properties and go to compatibility mode now for a lot of people out there for a lot of people i'm just going to show this to you because it works in two ways okay if you have these two enabled like this already or you don't okay it depends on if you have it already enabled or if you don't. If you have this enabled where it says disable full screen optimization, run this program in administrator. If you have it enabled and your game is still crashing, go ahead and then untick these. Okay. If you do not have these tick, then go ahead and tick these and then say apply to this just like this and go to change high DPI settings. Click on this box. I sign into Windows and click on this one over here where it says high DPI scaling override and make sure this is on application. Click OK. Click apply. Click okay and do the exact same thing for the launcher once you are done with that i highly recommend you go ahead and do this as you can see here at the top this is where my call of duty is installed so this pc then online games ssd so this is where my game is installed now i'm going to show you something that's very important that a lot of people are doing wrong okay so i'm going to open up my call of duty folder all right this is where my call of duty is installed call of duty modern warfare okay it's 165 gigs yes it is a little bit bigger obviously yours might be even bigger than mine or smaller Smaller. If you only have Warzone, it will be smaller. Now, for a lot of people out there, I've said, make a new folder and cut the game out of this folder over here into a new folder. Now, for a lot of people, they might have done this where they go into Call of Duty Modern Warfare and they go ahead and do this. They take everything inside here and then they say cut, right? No, that's wrong. It's going to tell you that it can't find the files and the version that you currently have is incorrect. Now, how to fix that is like this. You go to your file. Yours might just be like this. I renamed mine into a folder, which is Call of Duty. Yours is going to say this. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to just click over here, go new folder like this, and type in Call of Duty. Let's just say you only have Warzone. So then type Warzone. If you have other Call of Duties, then you can just say plus, I don't know, Modern Warfare, plus, you know, something like this, and say Cold war whatever the case might be okay i'm just going to call mine call of duty Warzone, 
right? Just like that. And I'm in Call of, Call of Duty Warzone. And I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to cut this folder, this one that says Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Cut it like this. Go back. Go into the folder you just created, which is Call of Duty Warzone or whatever you called it. Paste it inside there. And then go ahead and delete this folder that is empty now. So you just right click on it and say delete. Now this is, plays a very, very big role. And it's very, very important to go ahead and do this. You close out of this, and as you can see, I still have my Battle.net open, and yours might be open as well, because you just clicked here to go ahead and click on Show and Explorer. So it's going to say Play, but the game doesn't know where the file is. So you're going to go to Exit, Exit out of Battle.net completely, and reopen up your Battle.net like this. Just say Yes if it asks you a prompt. Just say Yes, open it up. If it doesn't open up with a prompt, then just go ahead and open this up. Now what you're going to do is it's going to say install and locate the game. Now you already know where your game is installed. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to online games and then I'm going to go over here where it says Call of Duty Warzone. You're going to click onto this, then click on this folder. Don't double click. Just click once on the folder and say select folder. Then it will do this initializing, updating, waiting, and then it will say play. This is one of the fixes I know that Call of Duty does work for. It works for Call of Duty, all right? Especially for Warzone. It's a very, very important thing to do to go ahead and put it in a new folder. Now, for a lot of people, this also works by doing this. You go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you go one back. Now you can see mine is called Call of Duty Warzone. Now, whatever yours is called, you can just rename it. Also, you do not have to copy it into a new folder. You can also try this method by just calling it something else. Let's say Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I'm say plus Warzone, like this, right? So now I renamed the folder, okay? Now, this application obviously doesn't know what I just did because I did it while the application's open. So now if I close it again, close it, and I reopen up Battle.net, and I say yes, and I reopen up Battle.net, and I log into my account, now it's also not going to know where this file is because I renamed it, okay? So now you go to locate the game, you go over here with the, where your game is installed, go over here, and then go to this folder over here, and then click on this. Don't double click, just one click, and then say select folder. It will do the exact same thing, initializing, waiting, updating, and then play, and then it will show you that you can play it. All right. Now, these are the couple of methods that I know that does work. And then the very, very last method. Yes, I know it might take you some time to get this working. I know this. Trust me, I know this. But for a lot of people, they do have fast internet connections. If you have a slow internet connection, whatever the case might be, and none of these worked, okay, the best thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go over here, go to Show and Explorer, and go ahead and delete this folder. You can go ahead and delete it like this, or you can go over here and say uninstall and reinstall your game. To be honest with you guys, my methods that I just showed you now, every single one I did just now, one of them will work for you. If none of them works, go ahead and uninstall your game and then re-download the game. Yes, I know it's going to take long if you have a very slow internet connection, but trust me, do you want to sit with a game that's broken and keeps crashing? Or do you want to uninstall the game, reinstall it, and then have the game working perfectly fine? I've tried every single method that I've shown you now. I've even uninstalled my game and reinstalled it and tried to see if that worked. And it works perfectly fine. For people out there that's busy playing Call of Duty right now, you in the main menu or you in the lobby or whatever the case might be and you press the windows key like this and then your game crashes i highly recommend you go ahead and uninstall your game and reinstall it for people out there that does the control of delete like that mine will be a black screen with ask you to sign out task manager whatever the case might be the one that i showed you to disable full screen optimization and run this program and administrator that works for that crash okay so there is methods ladies and gentlemen I'm just here to help the Warzone community. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year, and please let me know down below which method worked for you. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.